realizing I can destroy him with a merge block. Bum. Space Engineers Fine Mechanic Tutorial Merge Blocks Everything you need to know in multiplayer. Now, this tutorial will be separated into four sections with links to each step at the description, so no need to watch anything you already know. First, going through some basic mechanics of the block. Bringing two merge blocks nipples close to each other, the merge blocks are highlighted in yellow for a potential merge. Pushing them together will initiate the merge. Once merged, the blocks will turn green. If the grids were touching each other anywhere else, those parts will become merged together in a permanent connection. There are several rules with merges. 1. The grid with more active pieces, aka blocks with computers, will become the main grid. The owner of that grid is the new grid owner. 2. Stations take priority over ships. Merging a ship with a single block set as a station turns the ship into station 2. 3. The merged blocks are considered a single grid after the merge, unlike with subgrids. 4. If you merge a ship with a ship, the cockpit set as the main cockpit will retain controls over the new merged ship. Regardless who is the owner of the grid and who has the access to the cockpit. 5. You can disconnect a merge block by turning it offline. Now, there are several ways we can use this knowledge to our advantage. First of all, remember how I said merge block set as a station takes priority? If you don't, consult the doctor. We can use that to merge our space pod with a station. Since the station grid takes priority, our space pod is no longer considered the old starting grid, but rather the station that we merged it with. Now, this makes our space pod permanent, and we can log out without the fear of our space pod disappearing from the server. Now, the next way is a little bit more advanced, but a lot of you is going to know it. It's merge block surgeries. You may wonder how a handsome sounding devil like me has can afford such a drill ball like this. Well, the answer is simple, and something even you can do. First, steal some drills. How? Grind them out of the enemy ship, wait some time to make sure he doesn't delete them, and make sure the drills don't get trash collected in the meantime. If the drills aren't deleted, and if possible, separate the number of drills you need. See where you'd like to attach them and place the merge blocks accordingly. Then just merge the drills into your miner for economic supremacy. Also, you can sell the drills to other people who know how to use the merge blocks for surgeries. If you know this third option by default, you're a chat. As I said, the more complex grid becomes the grid owner and retains control of thrusters, etc as long as the cockpit of that ship is set as the main cockpit. This can be used to merge your ship with a ship that's connected to an NPC station, if they have a merge block that's online. Then, having controls, you can just unpark the ship with the appropriate keybind. If connectors are not on parking mode, just depower the entire ship with Y or whatever your bind is. Now, in addition to these, there's plenty of other ways you can use merge blocks creatively, some of which count as exploding and will not be opened up in the tutorial. Just know that only your creativity is limiting you with this. With merge blocks, you can use any stolen block as a zero PCU free block, at least for you. Now, let me know if you knew all of these tips and if you liked the tutorial. Give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more. If you're wondering how in the hell I managed to merge with an unshared merge block, remember to subscribe since I'm gonna tell that in my next tutorial. Access versus PCU ownership, everything you need to know.